What's up, y'all? I'm so flustered and frustrated. It's gonna be no intro for this video. Man, this is another one of those videos that I don't really like to make, but I figure why not? And as you can tell by the, the thumbnail, I broke my MSD coils. And I was changing, uh, it was time to change the spark plugs. And on two cylinders, one on bank one, one on bank two, the bolts that hold down the coils just will not come out. It just spins, it gets tight and it pops, just will not come out. Well, got one out. Just hacked right through it. My sharpest, flattest screwdriver I could find. That baby right there. Pounded on that thing. Got it out, but that's the least of my troubles because the second one cylinder number two back here that one I'm not gonna be able to do the same job on that but I ain't got no choice but to try man this one was a real problem extra longer because of the angle that I had to use to get to it but eventually I did heating up the screwdriver then hammering at the same time <clears throat> oh well just so upset because you know I had no choice but to break through the coil to get the coil off you know this um basically i guess you know as i think about it probably came about from when i actually installed the coils you know on those two cylinders i do remember the bolts were feeling kind of funny i know i didn't cross thread them cross thread them um and i'm thinking i possibly over tightened it because it just you know it spun a little bit and i was like mm, uh why is it doing that i thought nothing of it here I am now, I put 30K on the, on the plugs. I said, you know what, let me change them. Plus, you know, kind of sounded like it needed to be changed. Uh, idle was getting kind of crazy again. And, you know, under boost, it would feel, I would, you know, wasn't feeling so happy. So I know that, all right, all right, it's time to change these plugs. When I checked the mileage, I was at 30K. It's like, oh, wow, <laughs> all right. So I changed them, got the, the Mustang plugs, the colder ones. and had to gap them I, I can't stand when i buy plugs and they're not pre-gapped but i guess they wouldn't be pre-gapped for the tune you know i gapped them to between 26 point 26 and 28 but uh i had to get my sharpest screwdriver or just really like a scraper or maybe it's a panel puller you know for the the front one it was easiest i just hammered through it you know hacked it up i had to in fact, I'll show you what that looks like. So, that angle was easy to get at because it was right there in front. But the one in the rear, oh my gosh, man. It's the hard, it took the longest. It took me a good while. This whole ordeal to change my plugs took me like about six hours, which is crazy. You know, I was trying to figure out what should I do, you know, even consult the people in the chats but no one had a solution until I was basically almost done um, you know everything that I looked up even on Google you know for for what I had to do what it said to do I didn't have the tools for so I was extremely limited to my options you know I could have drove to uh, maybe Brooklyn Motors and see if they want to be bothered with it um, I most likely have to pay them for that didn't want to do that 
uh, you know, uh, well, the other solutions I didn't have the tools for. So I just used what I had. I hacked that bad boy up, got him off. We even had to, at one point for the rear, because the, the, um, the coil kind of has like three layers to it. Once it got to that third layer, I had no more angle to get it. So I heated up my uh, screwdriver head with a, with a lighter, heated up as hot as I could, put it down there to soften it up, hammered it through and got it out. I'm surely, I'm pretty sure, you know, there's some of you out there that uh, this sort of thing has happened to. Let me know in the comments below what you did to, uh, to get through it, to, to, you know, to get it out. Um, you know, going forward, you know, those bolts are still stuck there. They, they just, they just spin. So it's like, not like I can just get new coils and replace the coils because the bolts are there. Maybe I'll have to get new valve covers or maybe when I finally do the motor, that will be the final resolution. But if you have a resolution for my situation, let me know in the comments below. You know, I must say, um, even though the coils are not bolted down, uh, you know, each time that I had to take those coils off, man, they were pretty tough. They had to pry them off. So not really too concerned about them coming loose because even if, you know, the corners where I took off or hacked it up, the corners are pretty sharp and they're preventing the coil from spinning and moving. So you know, it's not such a bad idea that I had to do what I had to do. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, car's driving fine, nice and smooth again, you know, it's pulling real nice, not running into any type of boost cut or anything, or ignition cut, rather. So, you know, it worked out so far. You know, hopefully I won't have any issues later on, but it is what it is, man. If I ever get that boat out, I'll just get two more coils, just to, so that it don't look as bad as it looks, but man, this is the situation I was dealt, and uh, this is how I dealt with it. And that's it, you just gotta keep pushing forward, man. <laughs> All right, y'all, like I said, this is a video that I don't usually like to make, but here we are, just decided to, uh, to make it and post it. All right, hope you guys are having a much better day than I just had. All right, like, share, subscribe, have a blessed day, and peace out.